My name is Patrick Bach, I'm the executive producer for Battlefield 3. Uh, we are now going to play a map called Grand Bazaar, uh, which is a, for you that is um, well acquainted with Battlefield, uh, this is a smaller map. So let's see if we can sneak around here and find a good path. So as you can see, the, you know, for instance, this area is, is quite big and then you have the very, very tight areas. And, and even this map that is tight is quite big. If you compare it to a lot of other games, you know, this, uh, this map is maybe you know, four to five times the size of, a, of most other shooters. Whoops. And of course, that means that you have a lot of angles that you need to cover. Uh, so playing together as a team is, is key. Uh, and having a, a team that is made out of uh, you know, a lot of different classes uh, and doing their role on the battlefield is, is very, very um, efficient. And prone is for some people something new if you're used to the Battlefield Bad Company series uh, where we didn't have prone. Uh, we did add prone back into Battlefield 3 and we also made sure that you know, prone is not only a positive stance, it can also be a lot of negatives. Uh, by using it. First of all, you, you can't move around that much. Uh, it also takes some time to get up and down out of that position, like in real life. Uh, we also want to make sure that uh, if you're a sniper, for instance, there's not only a benefit with having a you know, sniper rifle in this game, because we are adding weapon glints to the, you, the, the greater the scope, the more reflection you get from it. Uh, we also looked into a lot of the features that we have had before, such as the spotting feature, which some people thought that was you know, cheating, because you could spot someone and you could follow that person around, even if they, if they you know, hid behind something. And what we did is we actually have a, an occluding uh, system now, which means that if you are being spotted and you move behind something, you will actually disappear from the, the uh, spotting um, uh, on the minimap. We also have like laser sights, you can see on this gun, the, I have a laser sight. I can of course turn that on or off. Uh, we also have flashlights for some of the guns. Uh, so we're using a rail system uh, for uh, most weapons where you can attach and detach different uh, accessories, uh, which makes the uh, unlocks on, for instance, scopes more interesting. Uh, because that scope that you just unlock can be used in, uh, on multiple weapons because they're using the same rail system. Uh, one of the more um, uh, you know, aggressive changes you could argue is uh, uh, putting a lot of the uh, uh, medic abilities on the assault class. That was very confusing for a lot of people in the beginning. But we actually thought about this for a long, long time, making sure that the, the guy that is actually on the front line also has the ability to heal. Uh, we also made changes to all the other classes and making sure that they uh, complement each other. So, uh, like in most Battlefield games, all classes have both offensive and defensive abilities. Um, and you can have uh, you know, big scopes in the support class as well as uh, um, shotguns in, in the recon classes. So, everything needs to work together um, to, to create a, a well loop balanced uh, playground. Uh, so this was Grand Bazaar, uh, one of nine maps that comes out of the box in Battlefield 3. Uh, we also have four more maps if you uh, pre-order the game or buy the Back to Park Can pack. Um, and this is one of the more tight maps in Battlefield 3.